Hey guys, welcome back. This is war number three of season 35. This time for Loki is taking on PBT. Once again, only have three fights. One of them is unique. Not sure if anybody's ever done it before. So let's jump in and see how I do. Okay, first fight up is going to be Node 15 Dormammu, Power Focus 2, Hurt Locker, Mystic Ward. I'm going to be taking him with Immortal Abomination. Uh, Immortal Abomination being a global attacker. Don't have to worry about him gaining any buffs, so don't have to worry about any degen damage or anything like that. I do have on some big three hour boosts, hoping to get through my three fights with those same boosts on and not have to reboost. Really plan on this one is just don't get hit. Um, you know, turned on suicides for this. Um, gonna need them in the next fight. Um, so, you know, really, ideally, it would be great if Dormammu would throw his special ones. You know, on this node, he's gonna gain power a lot. I don't want to dance and play around too long. You know, just to me, this is a a normal Dormammu fight. You know, not have to worry about the DGen. And just being as aggressive as I can, trying to get him to throw specials. If I push him to a special two, I push him to a special two. It's not going to be the end of the world. I'll take a little block damage. Already knew I was going to probably have to heal up a little bit after this fight anyway. Getting a little backed up here, so, you know, I think after this one, I think I just push him to his uh, special two. I don't dance around too much on this. Just to. You know, I'm almost to my special three, which is where I wanted to get. That's what I was trying to prevent this whole fight. Did take a couple stupid hits there. But, you know, I really don't like being backed up against the, the back wall. I'm not comfortable with it. I tend to panic. You know, so we're going to throw this special three just to get the spacing back on my side. So that I have a little bit of room to move back if I need to. You know, and the, the other nice thing here is I put on my acid burn, which is gonna finish them off. Okay, now we're gonna jump ahead to a rather unique fight. Um, Clown, my BG leader, uh, asked me about this one and came up with an idea that was unique. Um, Told him I'd try it, practice it a little bit, but this is gonna be Penny on explosive personality, enhanced armor up, um, and then the you know increased uh, evade and auto block. So I'm gonna be using Namor for this, which is hoping to pull off a little bit of cheese here. Um, the idea going into this is just to hit into her block. I'm still boosted big. I throw on an invulnerability boost just in case I need it, but you know. Like I said, I'm gonna hit into her block, let the explosive personality um, do all the damage to her. Um, really, then just trying to stay patient. You know, I don't want to punish her attacks, don't want to hit her at all if I can help it. Um, so, you know, fortunately, throughout most of this fight, she plays very, very defensive and lets me hit her block a lot. And you can see, you know, on that fifth hit. Um, you know, I do a significant, you know, chunk of damage with the, you know, the explosion. You know, I got a accidental intercept there, but, you know, so far this is going exactly the way it was drawn up for me, which I was very, very pleased with. You know, really just hit into her block a few more times. You know, if you notice I'm not parrying, I'm not doing anything i'm just trying to get her to you know go into her block so that i can hit into it you know take a couple block hits you know whatever it takes at this point we're in good shape one more time you know she's down to two percent and then i think i do punish this special one to finish her off so there we go took out an r3 penny on that node with two hits Okay, and then the last fight of the war is going to be America Chavez, uh, rank four defender, sitting up here on node 55. This has got limber, it's got um, D10 damage, it's got so you can't parry. Um, 
you know, wasn't sure going into this one, and this is why I threw on the kind of the bigger boost. So I'm going to start with the power start one, just so I can get to my special two faster. And the plan on this one going in is don't parry, interrupt the heavy either after the first hit or let it go the whole way through, and then toss my special two. Of course, we're five seconds in and I already blew my plan. I hit into her heavy attack after the second, which means she's got, um, you know, her charge on there, which means I am, every time I hit her, I'm doing the same damage. So you can tell there, you know, I did about 50% of my damage before I realized what was going on. And then I parried. Um, so on top of that, you know, I've got brute force taking. Uh, she's almost to her special two. I do not feel very good at this point. So, you know, right there I decided, well, you know, I may not make it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do what damage I can. Uh, fortunately, I boosted as big as I did. Um, which started off at, you know, going completely wrong, ended up turning into, you know, a very, very close victory, but, you know, a solo is a solo in a Lance War, and that gets me my full attack bonus for this war. And for this one, for Loki did win once again. And for the season, I'm up to 10 kills, only about one death. And like I said, for Loki's three. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.